Okay, so um, if this is the scene that you have, just um, just double check that when you click rendered view, all the materials are correct, and press the number pad zero key just to double check that you know the camera angle is correct. Um, if you want, you can press this button to see if you know the final um, render would be good. You can also scroll through the timeline as well and see if you know everything that's meant to be there is. Um, then you just go back onto this um, this view over here, and first we'll just render out the crypto map. So for the crypto map, um, just click this button over here, um, click this little folder icon, and just um, save it in the. Uh, just create a new folder, name that Rin here, and create a new folder called Crypto, and just name this Crypto underscore shot underscore 008, which this one is, um, underscore V001 underscore and then uh, after that, that would be the, the frame number. So accept, right? Um, change this from PNG to OpenEXR. Uh, RGBA full, that's all good. Um, if you want, you can tick this box to create a preview. And just tick this box for placeholders. Um, just try to do it by default, just in case we are rendering locally. Untick overwrite, um, and just tick placeholders. Um, once that's done, we go into just uh, making this zero real quick, just the frame start. Um, right, so then we go into render. We change the render engine from cycles to workbench. Right? Um, make this flat. So it's flat lighting. We click this render preview. And then we um, select color as random. And then uh, just tick this box for depth of field, and uh, that should be it. So after that, we are just going to go into color management real quick. And if the colors look too close together, this one it doesn't. But if they do, just um, decrease or increase the exposure a little bit, and also decrease or increase the gamma. So I found that decreasing both um, tends to separate. You know, for example, the hair and the ceiling. Um, it shouldn't be too much trouble for Max, even if you don't do anything. Um, but yeah, if, if it needs to be done, you can do it. Um, once that's done, and you have the output saved in the right place, um, you can just go ahead and render animation. And it should render quite quickly. Um, just I'll just wait for this to happen. So it's, it's going through everything quite quickly. It's, um, yeah, let's give it a sec. And if everything is right, then it should be showing up in this um, folder. And if we just double check the JPEG preview, it should show up as the crypto map. While we're here, I'm just um, going to create a new folder for combined, right, and just wait for this to do its thing. In the meantime, I'm also going to open deadline as well.
Right, so this is almost done. Um, just gonna wait a few more seconds, just making sure that in the crypto folder it's all there up until the last frame. Right, so 250 is all there. Um, now we're going to go back into cycles. Right, make sure the device is GPU. And the samples, just for this, um, this exercise, I'm just going to do 64 samples. But when we're rendering, it'll either be 256 or 512 over here. But just for this one, I'm just going to do 64, so they just render slightly faster. Um, and looking at all these settings, you don't really have to do too much. Um, just going back into here, and I'm just going to change this so that it's in combined. And obviously change this to combined um, and just pretty much leave everything else the same except EXR everything else exactly the same um, just uh, looking through the settings making sure it's 1080p all that stuff um, and what we're gonna do is just gonna render an image just to double check that everything is working everything looks good the lighting looks good um, yeah just give that a sec also, if you did end up changing the values in the color management for any reason, uh, make sure you change them back to 0 and 1 uh, for exposure and gamma respectively because that will also affect this render, which is the normal render as well, which you don't want. Um, just waiting a sec, this, this will take a little bit of a while because it's doing quite a few things. Um, but once it's done, we can actually send it to the farm as well. So while this is happening, we can just um, save a file just for the render. So just do underscore render, just in case the original file and the render file have changed in any way. Um, we don't want to mess up that original file, so we we'll just do um, render, and then this file can just be overwritten and changed slightly for any sort of rendering. So um, just save as for that, uh, just while this is rendering, and this should um, this should be able to render in not too long from now. My computer is actually rendering something else as well, so that's probably why it's taking so long. But yeah, even with that being said, it shouldn't be too much of an issue. Um, right, so this looks good, the lighting looks good, the boy looks good, everything looks to be in focus, everything looks to be with the correct material, um, so we can definitely go ahead and move this to the render farm. Um, I'll just wait for this render to finish, and then just going into the deadline monitor, um, and just go into submit, 3D, and then blender, and remembering this is shot 8, we can go into the blender file, um, go to shot 8, Render, sorry, scene, and then this one, that is for rendering. Um, and then this is where the output file is, so we just go here, we go into Team E, um, Sequences, Shot 8, Render, Crypto, and just copy that name. And then go to Combined. And just change that to combined, right? Um, I'm not too sure about how they handle this, but I'm just going to try that and save. Uh, frame list, so this goes to 250 frames, so you just make this 0 to 250. Um, frames per task, so that basically says um, how many frames each computer does before it moves on to a different task. So good number to keep it at is 50 for us. Um, yeah. Uh, this is, yeah, just leave all this. Um, priority is, uh, I think, priority is on a scale of 1 to 10 for us. So 
maybe oh no priority is 50 so yep just keep that at 50 um, everything else looks good so job name we would just name that shot 8 and then department would just be your first name um, and then just making sure that the pool is our team and the secondary pool is Blender. So basically it prioritizes computers in our own team and then it uses the computers that have Blender on them. Um, and that should be it. So when we click Submit, click OK, and close that. Um, just waiting for seeing if any computers are free for us. Probably not. It doesn't look like anything is free for us at the moment, but this should um, this should fill up and this should render pretty smoothly. And then obviously once it's done, it should be in the folder that we specified, which is the um, sequences, shot 8, render, and then the combined. Um, yeah, that, that should be it. Just obviously waiting for this to happen. Um, but yeah, that, that's pretty much how to send it to the farm and also how to do the crypto mat. So a couple things to keep in mind. If there is depth of field, make sure that when you're in the workbench settings, you tick this depth of field. Also, you change these back when you are rendering in cycles. Um, Another thing to keep in mind is the samples, so make sure that you make the samples either 256 or 512. If there is a lot of light, if there is a lot of volumetrics, if there is a lot of reflections, then make that 512. If there is not a lot, something like this for example, we could safely keep it at 256 and it shouldn't be a problem. Um, and make sure you have denoising on, that, that should be on by default, so don't worry too much about that. Um, yeah. So that's, that's about it. Um, let me know if you have any questions and yeah.